Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Hi, and welcome to the first of our videos in our series on IGCSE Geography. This is Episode 1. In today's lesson we will be learning about population distribution. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. The first topic we should talk about is population density. Population density is the number of people per unit area. It is calculated by dividing the total population by the area. The average population density of the world is low. The global pattern of population density is very uneven. Around 20% of the world's population lives in less than 10% of the land. Physical factors determine population distribution. Climate is an important factor. There tends to be denser population where climate favors agriculture. Very dry and cold areas can support only a sparse population. Outside the tropics mountains are sparsely populated. Fertile soils and water encourage high population densities. Inaccessibility makes rainforests sparsely populated. Human factors can attract population to inhospitable areas such as deserts, such as for mineral exploitation. Population is greater in highly industrialized regions. Dense population can be supported by technologically advanced societies. The regions of highest population density tend to be those which have the longest history of settlement. Now let's talk about birth and death rates. The world population is growing at an ever-increasing rate. This is likely to continue until 2050. Population changes, the number of births, minus the number of deaths, plus or minus the number of people migrating. The difference between the crude birth rate and the crude death rate is the rate of natural increase. More economically developed countries have gone through four distinct stages of population change. This is called the demographic transition. It is not clear whether less economically developed countries will follow the same pattern. Birth rates are highest in less economically developed countries, averaging 28 for 1,000, compared with 12 for 1,000 in more economically developed countries. Death rates vary more than birth rates. In less economically developed countries they vary from 5 to 20 for 1,000. In more economically developed countries the average is about 10, for 1,000. The birth rate is higher where there is a high proportion of women. Of reproductive age, in the age range 15 to 49. High infant mortality rates encourage parents to have more children. The knowledge and use of contraception affects birth rate. Birth rates remain high if children are needed to work in agriculture or to look after their parents in old age. Birth control programs can be important. Death rates increase where there is a larger proportion of older people. Poor diet, housing conditions and health care can increase the death rate. Constant pregnancies can increase the death rate among women. In more economically developed countries modern living can increase the risk of death from cancer, heart disease and traffic accidents. Now let's look at the demographic transition model. The demographic transition model is based on historical population trends of two demographic characteristics, birth rate and death rate, to suggest that a country's total population growth rate cycles through stages as that country develops economically. Firstly, let's look at stage 1. This is before economic development, birth and death rates are high. They cancel each other out and there is little or no population growth. Next, stage 2. With economic development living conditions and medical technology improves. But while death rates fall, birth rates remain high. Now, Stage 3. In response to rising prosperity the birth rate begins to decline. Even so, the gap between births and deaths remains large. And the population continues to increase. Finally, Stage 4. Eventually birth rates fall to the same low level as death rates. The demographic transition is complete and population growth ends. There is a hypothetical stage 5 on this diagram, but it is only speculation what will happen at this stage. 
Part of population distribution is population structure. Population structure can be shown on an age sex pyramid. Births, deaths and migration patterns can affect the shape of the pyramid. The population pyramid for a less economically developed country has a broad base and steeply sloping sides. This shows the young nature of the population because of the high birth rate. The steep sides reflect the high infant mortality rate and the low life expectancy. Look at the top pyramid here, for Nigeria. The pyramid for a more economically developed country has a narrow base and straight sides. Low birth rates over a long period mean that there are relatively few young people. Death rates are high only in extreme old age. Look at the bottom pyramid for Sweden. The structure of a country's population has an important effect in future years. In less economically developed country the youthfulness of the population means that there will be a large number of potential parents. This can keep the birth rate high. Unless the birth rate falls a decline in infant mortality will increase the width of the pyramid base. The country will then experience an ever-increasing rate of population growth. Countries such as Bangladesh have set up government birth control programs. The age of marriage has been raised and contraceptive education is more widely available. The education of women has been encouraged. The higher the level of female literacy the lower the birth rate tends to be. In more economically developed countries higher living standards and better health care have increased life expectancy. There is an increased need for state pensions and a greater pressure on medical and welfare services. This puts pressure on the working population to support the increasing proportion of older people, for example tax raises. In both less and more economically developed countries, there is an increasing dependency population. One, why is population density expressed per unit area? In order to compare countries or areas of different sizes, population density is usually expressed per square kilometer. Two, France has a population of 56 million and an area of 547,026 square kilometers. What is its population density? 102 persons per square kilometer. Three, why are some parts of the desert in the Middle East densely populated? They are important oil producing regions. The money from oil allows the lack of water to be overcome. Four, the crude birth rate in Australia is 19 per 1000. The crude death rate is 8 per 1000. What is Australia's rate of natural increase? 11 per 1000. Remember that birth rates and death rates are expressed as a rate per 1000. 5. Why may this figure not give a true picture of the population change in Australia? It does not include the figure for migration. Six, what stage of the demographic transition do many of the LEDCs appear to be passing through? Stage two. The stage of high birth rate and declining death rate. Seven, why is the rate of natural increase greater in LEDCs than it ever was in the MEDCs?
The death rate in LEDCs is declining at a much greater rate than it did at the time of the greatest population increase in MEDCs. This is because LEDCs have much better healthcare compared to say England in the 19th century. Eight, what is meant by the graying of the population? The aging of the population. Nine, why are government sponsored birth control programs not always successful? Low levels of literacy mean that family planning education may not be understood. There may be social or religious objections to contraception. High infant mortality is also significant. Ten, why is most of Western Europe densely populated? The climate is generally moderate allowing efficient agriculture. Industry has developed because of the availability of raw materials and technological know-how. The area has a long history of settlement. 11. State two features of the growth in world population. It is growing at an ever-increasing rate. Twelve. Why does there appear to be a link between the level of female literacy and the birth rate? Educated females understand birth control methods better. Females have greater career hopes. The low status of women in many LEDCs is a very significant contribution to high population growth rate. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.